Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's just make sure I'm live real quick. Audio, audio check, audio check. One, two. Okay, audio check is confirmed. Uh, we're gonna be playing kind word, uh, kind word today. I've been meaning to play this for a while. Um, very much influenced by seeing. Hmm. This expression might be a bit too powerful, actually. Let me, let me clear it real quick. <laughs> uh, recalibration. Eh. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> okay, that's better. Um, but yeah. Um, it's like a fun, very relaxing game. Not normally something I have on this, you know, on the stream. There we go. There we go. Nice. Uh, hopefully this is, you know, non-copyrighted. <laughs> there we go. Let's get started. First time experiencing this. Hello, I'm Ella, and I'm new in town. Wait, I should make an announcement. Um. Uh. Slash slash twitch dot tv slash doyland. There we go. Okay. Um, here we go. Um, I don't think this is gonna appeal to many people, but I might as well post it. I think, you know, um, uh, I think for a first time stream, you know, this deserves an announcement. Um, wait, uh, I'll, I'll rewrite this. I'll, I'll rewrite this announcement actually. Kind of stream. Relaxing, calm stream. Maybe. Come join in. Uh, we're being somewhat relaxed tonight. Um, and then, you know, twitch.tv slash toyline. There you go. And post it. First time for everything, I guess. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ella, and I'm new in town. I'm your male deer. I'm your first male deer. Exactly, yeah. Um, this is indeed my first time playing this game. My job is to carry letters back and forth between people who need cheering up, which is only everybody. Um, that's true to so, well, like a large extent, because everyone gets sad or scared. I'm even a little nervous about my new job here. I don't suppose you'd write me an encouraging note, please. Can I, uh... Okay, so let's start off with an encouraging note for this deer. Mm -hmm. Which is always tough. Keep at it. Uh, you won't make a lot of mistakes, but you'll be fine. And if not, there's always other careers. <laughs> Um, oh God, letter, thank you. Um, before I register you with the post office, I need to make a, su a few things super clear. Kind Words is full of real people who talk about real problems. Um, indeed. Um, this is not a, a first place for mean jokes or bullying or uh, flippant responses. Also, this isn't a place to meet people. Don't share any identifying details or links. I do what I can to keep this safe and caring place, but I'm only one deer. You may run into a jerk or some bad advice. Please report them. If you're ready to be kind and receive kindness in return, please sign here. Um, toy button. There you go. Nice to meet you, toy. Um, give me a second to register you with the post office. Okay, yeah, this is like a cute wholesome game. All set. Now if you want letters, all you have to do is ask for them. Maybe you're worried about something. Just like I was with this job. It can be scary, but don't be afraid to ask people for help. See you soon. Okay. 
Let's view some requests. I'm really hurt and I feel like my friends are being cruel to me. She makes fun of my uh, boyfriend uh, that uh, he hasn't said I love you to me, which is fine. But she says it in a demeaning way. Someone has a <laughs> And two of our mutual laughs and seems like they already knew. Okay, um... Remember, you can't solve everyone's problems. But, uh, please always let people... Okay, got it. Oh, and while people can't reply to your letter, they can uh, send you a thank you st sticker. Um, first thing first, I'd say talk to your friend about it. Um, without communication, I think. I think things won't get any better. Um. If your friends are the sort to constantly have fun at you, though, you may want to reconsider your friendship. Um, remember to put yourself first, as well as... Hmm. How would I say this? Well, as shoes with self-care carefully. Don't take this too far. No. No. Thank you for taking the time to, uh, about a stranger. I'll rush in, uh, this right over. You can count on me to deliver this letter, but, uh, okay. It's not my official part of the job, but I can't help it. Uh, I've got this hobby. Can I tell you? I think you'll dig it. I've been making mixtapes one song at a time. Okay, got it. I discovered Soft Focus by Clark, um, I hope you like it. Don't forget, you can click on the radio to change the music. Oh, this is probably copyrighted then. Um, let's hope this isn't copyrighted. Um, I told her I have confidence, but she tells other people. I feel like this is a coping mechanism to ignore her toxic relationship, so she brings me down instead. I would never do that to her, nor even as a joke. Um, I think it's cruel how she's doing this for laughs. Um, let me... Let me mute this music real quick and swap out some other music. Um, we can play some other lo-fi, you know? Just not this lo-fi, since I assume it's gonna be copyrighted and there's gonna be a few problems there. Um, here we go. There we go. Okay, muting that music real quick. And, you know, yeah. Let's start. Um, Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just checking this out to make sure that this music is streamable first. I will, um, uh, okay. Um, oh yeah, sorry for the late, and thanks for being careful, stream away, okay. Um, is this music copyrightable? Are you sure? Are you sure it's copyrightable? <laughs> oh yeah, sorry for the late, thanks for being careful, stream away. Um, okay, it seems like it's fine to stream. That's good. Ah, well, we'll keep playing this music then. I hope it's fine anyways, you know? Um, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to play and thanks for being careful. Stream away. I told her I have confidence, but she tells other people. I feel like this is a coping mechanism to ignore her toxic relationship, so she brings me down instead. I would never do that to her, nor even as a joke. I think it's cruel how she's doing this for laughs. Hmm. I think it's very important to talk about things with, um, with people. People. Um, hey, Happy New Year's, Jason. 
uh, tonight is just gonna be a comfy night, you know? Um, yeah, uh, we're playing kind words, you know? Giving advice to strangers, you know, just kind of talking to them. And hoping that they're okay. Um, I think it's a very important- it's very important to talk, uh, with things, uh, with people. As well as choose who you want to associate with. Of oftentimes, those who will want to put you down are not the ones you want to talk to. So please, do consider talking to her or distancing yourself from her. Um, things are tough. And in general, life is too. Er, uh, There you go. I think that's the best advice I can give them. I think that's 100% the best advice I can give them. There's not much else other to say than that, really. You know? Pick your friends and, you know, who you want to associate with. That kind of stuff is tough, though. That kind of stuff is very tough, though. You kind of want to be friends with everyone. And some people just mean way too much for you to leave, you know? So like, yeah, I, I, I understand how this guy feels. I'm assuming it's a guy. I'll assume everyone's a guy. <laughs> um, I, I, I normally use it in like the most like non-gender specific way possible. I call legit everyone guy. Um, yeah, send. Thank you for uh, taking time to, t I'll rush this right over. You can call me to deliver this letter, okay. I'm always a bit sad around the holidays and my birthday. I hate the fact that I'm aging and that I have to stop being a kid. I miss no responsibilities. I'm worried life is moving too fast. Okay. Um. Turn. Um. Take care of yourself and your mental health. Know when to take a step back and give yourself a you day even if other things yeah same <laughs> yeah I use guy in a very gender neutral way just cause I call everyone guy um you know yeah even if it interferes with your work or other things yourself first first and if possible ignore what people consider there we go send Thank you for time. Okay. Nice. Yeah, we're, we're just like playing a really comforting game, you know? People are asking for advice, just like sending out messages, and then we just reply and, you know, give our honest thoughts. Um... Um... Decorate more? Sound? Um... I wonder if this is copyrighted. Let's hope it's not. Um, is Clark a bound music copyrighted? Okay, it seems like a lot of his stuff is non-copyright, so I really hope it is. 
Um, but if not, that's fine. Here we go. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna have to look through this. Can I stream kind words? Um, yeah, I, sh I should have looked at this beforehand, but, you know, since there's music, I think it's very important that we do check this beforehand, you know? Um. Okay, let's hope this is fine. Yeah. Um. Kind words OST. Okay, let me let me actually search up this one song, pushing up Clark Bound copyright. Is this copyright free? Please, I I, I swear. <laughs> um, let's hope it is. I'm gonna just check the YouTube. Yeah, sorry for taking up this time, everyone. We'll assume it is. <laughs> we'll assume it is. Okay. Let's get back to, you know, giving advice, I guess. I really like this person a lot, but I'm sure they feel the same way. Uh, the same, since I'm not their type. I don't know how to tell them, but I don't want to regret not telling them. I think it's better to tell them and regret the answer than regret never asking. Find a good time. And if you can't find a good time, make one. You got this. There we go. Not much, but hopefully it helps. <laughs> um, my brother's working so much that we barely talk to each other much anymore. You missed my birthday and yeah, I got over it. But it's hitting me now that it's New Year's Eve. Is it okay um, to just feel like this even when it's been over? Uh, yeah. Um, well, sometimes work does come in the way. Thanks. Um, you guys are close. Talk to him. him. How do you feel? Sometimes we can't draw everything in the name family, but we can. But I think telling good and bad. Vacation, nothing. Brew. Your feelings are valid. There we go. Yeah, this is kind words. We give, you know, advice and have a chill time with people, you know? Um, I'm frustrated with my mom. She's a very insecure person and is diverse. She heavily relies on me for emotional support much more. And I'm generally falling apart because I'm moving out next year. I feel so guilty, but very... I'm ashamed for it. I think... You should try and get her a therapist. Um, or at least call her sometimes. It's very hard taking care of others' mental health, and you shouldn't be burdened with it. It's your mom. I get, but if it's ever too much, you should take a step back. At the same time, therapy might help. Having a profession or and all that. Um, go 
spells. There we go. Good luck, and you got this. Yeah, we're trying to, you know, give our best advice for the night. Just, you know, hope we can give people good, you know, advice and everything. Um... Uh... <laughs> really? There you go. Okay. I think my grand uh grandpa is a narcissist. He always picks fight with my family. Um Well I'm like built first. <laughs> he yelled at me for a joke and I think he wanted to hit me. Um that's a tough situation to be in. Um, we have that, and then how he makes you feel, feel, and if nothing can be done. Maybe even talk to him yourself. If nothing can be done, I would distance yourself from people like that. Don't put yourself into danger and disassociate. Sometimes it's the only way. Yeah, that's a tough situation to be in. My fr ex friend that's a dog dumper uh, decides she's going to buy fish and dwarf seahorses and other exotic pets. You couldn't handle dogs, stop getting animals just to abuse and dump them. Fucking awful person. <laughs> and none of it is bad enough. Uh, um, that sounds kind of nasty. Um, fish in general are less work but still not great may want to talk to them about it but if nothing can be done nothing can be done if it makes you very uncomfortable please distance yourself from her Um, make sure it doesn't harm your own mental health. There we go. I, I think that's the, yeah, not always possible to disassociate with family. I mean, uh, if we're like the, are you talking about the grandfather one? If it's the grandfather one, you know, even like, you know, uh, disassociating might not be possible, but like, just like distancing in general. I might help, you know, just like avoiding them, avoiding the room and all that stuff. Although they can be very pushy, you know? Um, yeah, just minimizing contact and everything is might be the best uh, path forward in some cases, I think. Yeah, that's why I suggested first, like, just talking to their family about it and everything else. Because, like, you know, disassociation isn't always the best path either. It's just, like, one of the paths forward. There's a lot more things I would have suggested, but like at the same time, it's like kinda, you know, kinda too short for that. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff that's like really difficult about that situation just cause like, you know, it's, it's family, right? Like, like it's hard with family, like that you don't really like. <laughs> Of course, disassociating with a friend is probably a lot easier, you know? Uh... 
<laughs> oh god, they're having a fun conversation there. My mom is very insecure, so I remember uh I constantly console that everything's alright, but she never listens. It's been two years. Can't um Um Yeah. I think everyone has their own like, you know, advice for this kind of situation, you know? Um, like there's a lot of different things you can do. Disassociation is one of my favorite things just because, you know, it's like non confrontational. It's fairly safe. Although it's definitely not always possible, you know? <laughs> um Um, it's starting to get too much. I think you should take a step back. Talk to her about how she makes you feel. If possible, I would also suggest therapist. Although that's kind of your call. It's not always a one size <laughs> all solution after all. Um, if it's it too much, please do tell her she doesn't understand. Listen her again most of all please take care of yourself I think this is the best um, do you guys have anything else you guys want to add on to this because this seems like kind of a tough situation to be in you know like yeah, I, I, I kind of get where this is coming from. Like, having a very needy person who needs a constant reaffirmation and everything. I've been on both sides of that, I think. Um, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we'll send it then. This might be a bit of a common theme for me tonight, but my mom... Uh, oh. Yeah, that's definitely crossing the line. Um, That's definitely crossing the line, I think. I think. It's kind of hard to, you know. Say that she should share her finances. Share that she should have control of your finances this as well. It's your money and assuming that You should try and clear boundaries. Boundaries are very important. Yeah, boundaries are very, very important. And make sure she knows that where that line stands. Yeah, this is this. They seem to be having a lot of problems with their mom. Their mom. They seem to be having a lot of problems with their mom. Yeah. Okay. Having clear boundaries, especially with family. Family 
and closer is important. <sighs> Two years ago, I used to be the one answering these questions, but now I have uh, there's no insight and personal situation get worse. Yeah, that's life for you. Sometimes things just spire. Um, are you hmm. <sighs> that way? of yourself remember to talk to those you trust maybe go to therapy Eat right exercise It's kind of just pure optimism, but you know, that's my general life advice. Eat right, exercise a bit, hopefully they start feeling a bit better. I can't really, you know, have a one size fit all solution for this. Things are bad. Things get bad. Things get very, very bad. Um, which is why it's all the more important to, you know, just talk to people, talk to people you care about, do all that kind of stuff, you know? Um, it's very hard when you fall into depression spiral. I've had, you know, maybe not depression, right? But, uh, bot and chat, uh, maybe not depression, but like, I I've been in situations where I felt really down, you know, and honestly, eating right, you know, exercising, maybe talking to a therapist does help. It does help. <laughs> Therapy, friends, support, partner, none of those things help me. I've been getting progressively worse. My lows are lows and my highs are rare. I feel vulnerable, alone, and sad at any given time. I've tried all possible things, but I think I'm just broken. Um, I think that's a fair tough. Um, there's no one size fit all. Yeah, there's there really is no one size fit all. Everyone's different. Different brain chemistry, situationally, habitually, emotionally. I keep on pushing. You'll find something. I personally suggest working out or like playing games isn't guaranteed to work, but try, try a thing until you find something that makes you happy. Wish. I really wish there was a like one fit, uh, you know, like a one size fit all. That would be great. <laughs> Sadly, doesn't seem like there. There you go. Send. Yeah, that's a tough place to be in, you know, just kind of feeling down. When I'm with friends, I feel neutral, but as soon as I have a lone moment, I get overruled by my mental state and have to fight my own thoughts and mind. Nothing I have tried has worked, and I'm getting worse. Than... No one can help me. Therapy is something I suggest. Right, not already. 
then you can try solutions don't always come easy and sometimes are at the last place you'll look working out eating right playing games or doing something for many people but you might have something different good luck in finding There we go. I think that's the best advice I can give here. It's a very relatable situation, you know? Like, yeah, it's a lot easier when you have friends around and everything, right? But like, you know, sometimes you just don't. It's hard, very hard. Um, I hope they can find, you know, something that makes them happy outside of friends, you know? I think it's always nice just to have that, like, alone time fun, I guess. Like, you know, I play games, I write, a lot of things I do on my own. But, like, imagine just not having that. That sounds tough. That sounds very tough. Hopefully they find something. Because, like, you know, it really does help. Just something that you can, like, dive straight into that makes everything a bit brighter, you know? Yeah. I just need to add that then right there. I feel like that's something that's kind of needed. You can call me. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to get back into journaling, but I need prompts or I'll just dig myself. Um. Um. <laughs> this one's a, this one's a bit more fun. This one's a bit more fun. That's for sure. Everywhere I go, I see memories of my life, good and bad, sad and happy. Moments of bravery and cowardice. But I can never go back to those moments. I'm stuck in uh, my repetitive, simple and dull life, bound by my abilities, fears and motivation. Huh. That's actually really dang relatable right there. Um future is both empty and boundless. There's possibilities for more fun times, but also moments of sadness to be had. So keep moving. fine but sometimes it'll consume you okay time to quote something um Um. 
<laughs> Good game, by the way. Sometimes I feel just too weak to do anything in my life. Whatever I try to accomplish, I never make it. Either because of illness or anything else. Just not sure how I'm supposed to live my life, I guess. Um. Sometimes as long as you're not harming yourself, the process you need to push on. Things will likely never get easier. At least until you go through some struggle. It's a tough time, for sure. But like, only way to get strong. I believe in you. You. yourself too. I think that's the only thing I can really say there. Sometimes, you know, sometimes the only way forward is to push on, you know? And while it's not like the ideal situation, I think it's something that has to be said. I've been having trouble being motivated. I used to be so passionate about my work, but for some reason I've just lost all interest. I feel like I'm uh, failing myself. I'm not working hard enough, not trying hard enough. Maybe take a break. Take a step back. Re-evaluate. Um. Try to do what you want. Try to find something you're motivated by. Do you fight for? Times it's fine to give up. Yeah, like like if you're really not feeling it, I feel like that's advice people don't get often. <laughs> you can count on me to deliver this letter. Okay. I'm pretty grieving. My mother's struggling a lot. Although I'm doing my best to help her, it feels like uh, she isn't getting any better. I know death is a part of life, um, but I just don't know how to let go and cherish the uh, present with her without thinking of the future. How, how, what would you, what would you tell this person? Um, this is a, this is a tough situation to be in. Like, I get how this feels. Like, a hundred percent. Um. Um, I think it's impossible to expect you to ignore her looming death. Instead, try, try and um. Um, I think it's like very unhealthy to just think that you can like absolve yourself of like a feeling, right? Um, I Hmm. 
this is a tough one. This one I have an especially tough time with. Try not unhealthy fiction of just not about it. Instead, try making your thinking more healthy. Give more accept it and There we go. That's that's the only thing I can really say there. <sighs> Got it. Hello, I came out as bi after a long and unhealthy road of exes and just couldn't force myself to date men. It's not fair to them or me. I'm more excited after coming out, but I worry about messing up a relationship outside of the male pool because I'm inexperienced. Okay. Um, 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 in much the same way as men, women can be vile as well. However, much in the same as men, there are those worth nothing. Hmm. You'll make mistakes. And whoever you date will too. In many ways. Both are similar. Needing affection, hugs, affection, attention, compassion, act. But in some ways, they are different. At the same time, some things are. You are wondering, please ask whoever you are to date. It's scary for sure. sure. Unknown always is, but you got this. Good luck and happy new There we go. <laughs> Happy New Year's. Oh, someone sends their thanks uh, for a letter for you and... Okay, we got our first response, a pop can. Okay, someone else... <laughs> I guess people are reading this then. I guess people are reading this then. Okay, so three of our letters have been replied to. Open. <laughs> okay. B. 
be requests say nice things. Um, no, this is completely online. This game is like, these are all just messages other users have sent in, you know? We're trying to reply to them, give advice, you know, give compassion where that's needed. That's the game. That's the entire game right there. Um, yeah. <laughs> the rooms. Yeah, it's a very wholesome game, you know? Um, yeah, um, it's, it's gonna be a very emotional thing, you know? It's gonna be a very, very emotional thing. So, you know, we're gonna try to, like, take this as seriously as possible and give people, like, good advice. I'm not sure how to deal with being alone. I've decided to work on myself and discovering that um, I have a lot of love in my heart. My last relationship crashed and burned, but my aunt got into a relationship a week after we broke up. It makes me think I'm the problem. Hmm. Okay. Sometimes there might be problems and things that you need to change. Introspection is important, yes. However, at the same time, you cannot blame everything on yourself. Remember to take care of yourself. Well, well maybe get used to being alone before rushing into the next relationship. Relationships shouldn't be a coping mechanism for your feeling feelings. Understand them and try your best to resolve any baggage you have before your next one. Hmm. Being alone is tough. But also gives you time to think. Take care of yourself and breathe once in a while. Good luck. <laughs> there we go. Phew. Who are Jay's? Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of adorable. That is kind of adorable. Um, yeah, I I'm guessing this is through the string of like comments where they were like, you know, uh, where your thing sucks or whatever, right? Okay, I'm getting a lot of I'm getting a lot of replies. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wish we could make friends um here. Everyone's so nice. Maybe the anonymity makes people nicer. In other ways, I'm sure a lot of people have their own problems they can't express within 14 lines. Maybe try out the Steam forums. You may be able to say hi to some of your friends there. Although, in I, th I think part of the charm is the nimity. <laughs> There we go. That one's not as serious. That one is not as serious right there. Um. 
Okay, yeah, we're gonna keep going. I've had a ton of mental health problems that are causing me a major issue. I don't have any motivation to try and do anything about them. Nothing will happen without some effort. A miracle happening would be nice, but until then, please do try and talk to therapists and or work on bettering yourself. Can be said other than that. Oh, I'm sure. As long as you. <sighs> yeah. I think, you know, the anonymity also protects people as well, you know? Because I feel like, especially for some of the people here who are having problems relationship wise, you know? I think those people are more vulnerable as well. In one way or another, the vulnerability, or not the vulnerability, the anonymity, right? I think also protects them as well, you know? Because I do know that people who have been in abusive relationships, like, especially, like, right, like, fresh after it, are very easy to take advantage of. I've seen it happen, like, multiple times, you know? I think the anonymity, how hard it is to communicate, right? And all that does 100% help. Especially with those who are like, hey, I'm coming out as gay, I'm coming out as bi. That also protects them a lot as well, you know? Because, like, of course, if this was just, like, an open forum where people would, like, send them messages and everything and all that, it would be very easy to, like, you know, to, like, harm them, right? Because, like, you know, it's so easy to make an alt, right? All you do is make alt, start, like, spamming them with stuff, right? But here, there's no real point, you know? There's no real point because you don't even know that you, you can, like, reply to their message once before you go to a new alt. And, like, this this thing costs money, too, which does help with that as well, you know? So, like, unless you're gonna burn, like, like $5 on, on, like, each reply, no real point. I think that definitely does help people who are in situations like that, you know? Relationship problems, uh, you know, uh, LGBT stuff, right? Because those guys are very often targeted. People in the LGBT community get, like, way more flack than they should, right? Um... The anonymity definitely does have its own charm. The an the anonymity does have its own charm. Um, work <laughs> being not as easy as I make it seem sometimes, though. <laughs> See you, Israeli. Hopefully, you had fun on the stream and have a good day. You know. Um, Happy New Year's. And congrats, Jason, for catching the star right there. Um, I wrote about my boyfriend not talking to me a couple of months. I called the police for a welfare check. They said to me he was fine at home with his family and everything was good. He still hasn't, uh, talking to me and even blocked my number, Sag. That happens. That happens. It's tough. People drift. Sometimes things don't work out. And while I can't give you a solution, I can give you a virtual hug. <laughs> virtual hug. <laughs> Hope you feel better soon. And give yourself time. Not a easy position to be in. I'm I'm sure.
someone who you trust and care about. If not, uh, yeah, <laughs> that is something I should add. Um, things instead of ghosting you, to be honest, <laughs> might be better that he's gone. Shrug. <laughs> Yeah, that that's something I, I, I needed to add. Thank you, Jason. Um, thank you. Oh, penguin, let's go. Mustachio robot. Um, okay. Um, uh, happy new year. I'll continue. Does anyone have any good recommendation? Ah, uh, not really. Yeah, that one does take me off a bit too. On one end, I kind of do get it if like they're being a bit overreactive, right? Because like I, I, I can kind of see it going either way, right? One is like, yeah, uh, like the, the person who sent it in like obviously cares a lot about their boyfriend, right? But on the other end, you know, just getting called, like the police called on you is a bit much as well sometimes, you know? I don't think there's any solution for it. Only just don't talk to him anymore, you know? Like he's okay. You're okay. You should probably just stop talking to him, you know? Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Because, like, I can totally see this as, like, you know, like, a... Like, I don't want to, like, doubt them. But at the same time, it could easily be, like, an ex situation where it's like, yo, my crazy ex keeps texting me and also called, like, the SWAT on me, you know? Um, it's probably not that situation. But... Maybe them blocking them might have been the best path forwards, you know? Although, honestly, probably would have sufficed with a, hey, stop talking to me, you know? That I, I think communication definitely was something that was needed from the boyfriend, you know? Like, if assuming that this is like, like, assuming he did tell her, yo, stop talking to me, all right? then that would have made things way better. Yeah. I think it's hard to judge just from this one message here. I'm struggling tonight. I've had depression for three years and it caused me a lot of distress. I've tried so many treatments and nothing's helped. Can't bear a... Don't give up just yet. Um... I'm sure you'll get things are tough and life is hard but you just gotta gotta keep pushing up. I'm sure you'll manage to get through this this remember T exercise and talk hmm Understand and 
know that. That one's a bit of a somber one. Um, nice. More stickers. Axo is a cute one. <laughs> um. After holiday break ends, I'll be going back to high school five days a week and just not having very, very much fun or time to myself. I feel like I've gotten what freedom is and I don't have the ability to do anything for myself. Um... Um... I, I forgot that so weather weather <laughs> is that how you spell it is that how you spell it that's like the, the way I like instinctively spell it but like weather yeah that's correct okay it just looks really weird it just looks really really weird whether it's in college or the workforce Hmm. Sometimes things can get or hmm. You can't. Yeah, no, that that's a that's a relatable one. Um. Okay. Um. As for me, maybe. I, uh, ooh. Ooh, that one's a tough one. That one's a tough one. Um.
This is a tough one. This is a very tough one. Um, I'm sure you're not. No. There you go. Ah, uh, but ultimately I feel like I'm on the team that's last year with a bunch, me and my friends. Uh, we ultimately are just more meat for the grinder at the end. Ah, uh, half. Happens a lot, sadly. Sometimes things just don't work out. Working harder might help. Help. And if not, maybe that place isn't the place for you. Prioritize your own mental health, happiness, as well as those to you. I hope things get better. Good luck. Some of these are really, really serious. Um, I tend to create a lot of scenarios in my mind. Uh, the end, which ones play out? Um, sometimes going with this path. But if not, maybe you should make pros either action. Try not to overthink too much. Although I have the same limb and no, it's not that easy. Take your time and follow. Um, maybe not the best phrasing. I don't know what they're planning. Um, take your time and know that failure is sometimes inevitable. Done is done. So. Try to not get hung up on past failures. I'm sure whatever you do, it'll end up fine. Fine. But, hmm. Happy New Year's. There we go. I think that's kind of the only thing I can really say in this situation, you know? Yeah. Oh, someone sent me something. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's, Tails. I know you're on the stream, by the way. <laughs> Um, I made a friend, not a work friend, like casually speaking with his friend. 
I don't know. I might develop feeling in my in relationship, and then I'm really afraid to even talk about it or even start the subject. That's a tough situation to be in. I can't give much advice, right? Yeah, I I know you're on the stream, uh. But yeah, um, that's a tough situation to be in. I normally advise that you tell them your feelings, though. Better to get it over with soon and not develop strong feelings then feelings or get a answer or then regret shut down well you're <laughs> there we go yeah Better get it over with soon, you know? And yeah, thank you for wishing me a nice stream, Tails. Today we're being kind of wholesome, you know? Today we're being kind of wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> Today we do be, be ki being kind of wholesome, though, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. Let's continue. Memories of him still haunt my mind until these days. I want to forget those memories. Sometimes you can't forget. The only thing you can do is accept and on doesn't mean forgetting. It means appreciating them for what they were and no longer are. Regret sorrows talk with I understand. Oh, if you can get over There you go. Hopefully this helps. What did Tail send me? A French flag. Got it. Hi. Okay. No, we're not gonna. Okay. Um. Nope. Ooh. Uh. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Um. I'm gonna try and get him to seek. Therapy, well, as assure him that you are there for him and that he has people who care about him. Um, should burden yourself with his mental health alone, but please do. Get him professional help. Well, as some emotional help, help on your end. Just remember to prioritize your own mental health as well, regardless of what happens. I'm gonna remove that last part. That last part is a bit too depressing and might make them feel worse. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to, you know, avoid making them feel that way. Um, don't care about that. Nope. Uh, eight shit. Now I need to go to the doctor store to see if I fucked up my left arm. Um, hope it's not too bad. I suggest practicing with 
someone who has more experience as well as having enough protective equipment especially while you're starting out it's not easy i know from experience but take care of yourself and i'm sure you can get the hang of it. and if not quitting is a option too there we go <laughs> not much more i can say than that oh uh here we go <laughs> <laughs> you're knacky. Um, there we go. Okay. Tree in a jar, nice. Trouser fish. You would very much appreciate it if you turn the radio on and left it alone. Honestly, kind of mood, kind of mood. I should decorate the room a bit. Um, Oh, I get what this is. I kind of like this mood. Yeah, I think this is the one for me. There we go. Let's continue then. Few requests. I'm worried about my future. I'm a lazy bum who doesn't study well and plays games a lot. There are so many nice things I want to achieve, but I'm lacking motivation. Maybe find a extrinsic motivator. For me, I stream. As well. That way I can get motivation to do things like work out or others can also Vaders you can look at family or friends a um, schedule maybe something start with something like take your time and slowly improve you got this things are tough but just keep pushing through believe in you just believe in yourself too. It's tough. But there we go. Send. I'm still hurting for my ex boyfriend who told me he stopped loving me and that he felt my he told me he wish Realize those feelings sooner, and even so, it made me feel like we're insignificant. Sometimes people just fall out of love. It might not be you. It. Either. Don't beat yourself up too much about it. Be glad. Memories happened. Be glad. 
you in the end. It's tough. Finishing 2021 has been so exhausting. I made plenty of friends, made plenty of art, but sometimes it doesn't feel right. I still feel really lonely un and unaccomplished. I miss... Um, just... <sighs> yeah. Interesting that. I think there should be something more. Or the feeling. Something is missing. I'm sure you'll find something. Fill that spot in your heart. Just keep going. Try. And you'll be fine. Promise. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in college too. It's overwhelming for sure. Sure. And like, I'm deaf nervous, but like, please. Keep good habits. Good habits. Do your work on time. Maybe get a scheduler. Tip for myself later. <laughs> later. Uh, and you'll be fine. Even if you bomb one or two tests. There we go. Ah, uh, trust a friend. I don't want to ruin our friendship with stupid and uh, confused feelings. Sometimes I struggle with the difference between romantic and casual friendly feelings. Tell him. You can't stop your feelings. But if you tell them, you either get rejected now while you're not 500% in love, or you can't accept it. Better than have the feelings bottle up and either become a lingering regret or something that will kill you emotionally. When you get courage years down the line. The sooner, the better. At least that's what I think. Fear is the enemy. <laughs> Fear is the enemy. There we go. I'm not happy, also not sad really, just kind of emotionless, which isn't how I usually am, but I've been feeling this way for a while. I feel bad that I might be shutting people out unintentionally. That might be a case of burnout. Give yourself some time to rest and relax, 
and hopefully feel the way you used to again. Feeling numb and disinterested and blah is natural though. Nothing is wrong with you and you're fine and you're going to be okay. Just trust in yourself and live life want to. Just remember that you have friends and people you can talk to. Even if you feel like you don't. There we go. Just wanted to share with folk handling the same settlement. It's New Year's Eve, a celebration, and it's a shame not being able to spend with friends, especially when you can with others. When they can with others. Even so, wishing you all the best uh, in a year of new opportunities for each of us. Life is continuous, but at the same time, this can be a new beginning. New opportunities around the corner for the both of us. Good luck and have a happy new year's. You got this and whatever you may be doing. Uh, um, ask him first then. It's like a crazy out of date gender norm that the guy has to ask first. Ask him. Um, you either get shot down and start the healing process early and when you're not vulnerable or you you start dating him either way it's better now than later or never you got this I believe in you and I'm sure whatever sure that whatever happened you'll be fine and get through it there we go uh maybe <laughs> um okay I, I guess we're at the cap then wait never mind okay male deer nice <laughs> um explorer nice a poet trapped beyond the stars I actually like that one I like that one a lot uh, let me see if I can decorate it. Right, it's in the perfect room too. Nice. There you go. Uh, not what I signed up for. I have to do much more than what I thought. But with a terrible trainer, stressed out with customers. Um, I would try to talk to management, whoever is above you about it, as well as consider your own mental health and state. If 
if um in this position is not for you remember that taking a step back is always a option good luck with your job i'm sure that that uh, 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 things will improve and if not quitting is fine there we go <sighs> oh man I guess a lot of people are actually reading these. Screensaver? Oh shoot, it actually just works as a screensaver. That's kinda chill. That's kinda chill right there. Boof. <laughs> I can vibe to this. I can vibe to this. Uh, I came up, uh, but a lot of people don't believe me, and I even got punched in the face for it. The school and everyone isn't helping at all. That's a serious one. That is a serious one. Um, Please contact the authorities as well as talk to your family and a counselor or psychologist of some kind that's a tough situation to have gone through and obviously very scarring I hope that you get more help and support soon and that you can that can soon remember to not rush your recovery it takes years upon years to truly Get over something like that. Time as well as care of yourself will go a long way. Just remember to do so. There we go. Um, I suggest trying to just ask them out. If not, you'll do it anyways. But way later down the line. Doing it now will both protect you from harm emotionally. as your feelings are less developed as well as possibly get you in a relationship sooner either way i think pulling bandage off is better than letting it stick and fester and rot until it hurts too much to bear. Unrequited love and love unknown is far more painful than rejection. There we go.
No. Uh, happy New Year. I will continue setting up my top. Okay. Uh, never mind. Uh, we have different standards when it comes to COVID safely. I am completely isolated. But he goes to work and drinks with friends. To be honest, if we don't live together, I would from him too because of this. Um, I would talk to him about it and like make your feelings known. If he does not, he should at least listen to you in some regards. But if not, hopefully you can remind him to wear mask, stay safer at work and while out with friends. Well, that may not be the best solution outcome. Not saying anything is the worst outcome. If you were Sally or her brother, what would you have done when the cat and the hat showed up? I was gonna invite him in. Call the police. Barricade the doors. Call my parents and people nearby. Arm myself. There you go. Frogu. Nice. Low five beats, nice. Um as attached because you are not dependent. Being attached to those close to you is fine, but needing or requiring love and attention 24-7 may cause you to get attached too soon. Finding your own happiness and independence before making new friends would help you not get attached too soon. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Something nice. Hmm. What's something nice I could put here? Oof, okay. Let's at least make it to the new year, you know? Uh, okay. Um. Hmm. I only have depressing facts. <laughs> uh. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is this is. I could give them music suggestions. Um. Made friends a cherish. Um, here's one of my favorite songs. Listen to Gentlemen, we are floating in space. Always makes me feel. But there we go. Hopefully that helps them. It's always around this time of year. I can never sleep. And what I do is 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. I don't like socializing. Um, but whenever I don't fall, <laughs> I don't fall into these routines throughout holidays without something to ground me. I can't dress. I can't bathe. I can't even think. Maybe start a hobby or something and and a schedule. For me that is streaming. I stream like every day and that help around me. I broke my schedule with college though. Though which is a shame. But maybe start Something like that. A project or side hobby you do at a specific time to ground yourself. Maybe just set aside a few hours every day that you know are free that you can read. Alright. Or draw, or think, or run, or jump, or anything really. Just set aside some time and make a hard schedule. Hope this helps. Write out your schedule. There you go. That should help. <sighs> you are too. It's okay not to smile, but at the same time, that right. Times will come. Voice comes up after moon. Maybe not in the same day or the same week. Hard, but it will come back again. Even in the Arctic, which is night for like half of the year the sun comes up there we go
things will open up again soon. Just remember to do your part. Wear your mask, social distance, and eventually things will go back to normal. Or as close to that as we can expect. There we go. Did I just get this one? Ooh, uh, yeah, this one, this one's a bit, this one's gonna be a bit tough. I, I read the first few sentences. We're gonna answer it. We're a hundred percent gonna answer it. We're gonna do our best as well. Um, oh, a frog. Okay. Um, but she has gotten deaf and partially blind, so I feel helpless as she feels alone. Um, that's a tough to be in. Remember, uh, you can still give her hugs and pats and all. Thing. She can also still smell. So I'm sure she knows you're there. I hope. She probably won't get better, but I hope, but I know you made her life. Hmm. Yeah, this one, this one's a bit depressing. This one's a bit depressing. Like, you're a great owner, owner and friend. Will hurt more when she's gone. But I'm sure. Um, very cliche, but yeah. not. Is there a dog sticker that I have? Funny, nice. Fragu, okay. What was that oh, one that I clicked past? I think it was the hedgehog. It was probably the hedgehog. Might have been the puffer fish. Ah. <sighs> okay. 
I used to feel alone, but mostly I, feel, I just feel numb. Okay, my source is so happy. Thanks for stuff up, everyone. Okay, yeah, have a great New Year's, uh, Jason. I'll probably be streaming, like, right until the New Year, and then, you know, probably raid someone. Thank you for being here, man. Thank you for being here through, like, the entire two hours, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, have fun celebrating. Good luck, and thank you, man. Um, <laughs> I'll see you another day, then. I used to feel worthless, but mostly just slightly numb. I train my first to slightly. Um, I'm glad you don't feel as, as before. That's some progress, at least, I think. Numbness sucks, though. I know that feeling. It'll pass, I'm sure. I'm sure. Give yourself time to relax. Unwind. Re-evaluate yourself and all that. And I'm sure you'll feel better soon. Soon. I'm sure your friend I'm sure your friends appreciate you worrying about them. Your mental health in check and if possible look therapist. Maybe not that last part. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna overburden their friends, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah, that's something difficult. Go through feeling of being alone. I think something missed. Tough one. Just keep reminding yourself that you're not alone. That there are people who care about you. Don't force yourself to feel better right away. Mental health is a slow and oftentimes painful process. You got this. There you go. Oh, uh, I discovered Connector Eye this morning. I was uh, a bit stressed about it, but I put it on loops and washed it all the way, hopefully, for you tomorrow. Nice. Okay, so I guess we got a new song then. Kid and Plunk. <laughs> uh, chicken Bomb Ball, nice. Decorate. Ah, yes. Oh, I remember. Uh, Chick Chick Boom. Chick Chick Boom is a really good game on the Wii. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, important number right here. Keep those things, you know. Checkpoint. What is this? Oh, it's a mental health resource. 
That's cool. Okay. Let's take this. Also very similar, it seems. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let me screen savers. There we go. What's your favorite animals? I do love cats, but I'm allergic. One before me couldn't uh, decide between cats. I'm just saying they're all cute. <laughs> okay, let me let me get this raid going then. Let me get this raid going. Um. Actually, let's write Kira. Let's write Kira. Kira. Kira cat. Um. There we go. Here we go. Hey, hey, Kira. Uh, happy, uh, New Year's. <laughs> Couldn't miss your new model. Uh, introduction. Kira has a great new model. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Okay, I'm gonna end the stream now. Okay, uh, end stream.